the San Andreas is the mighty crack that runs through California, and one day it'll hiccup and all of the state will be swallowed into the earth. But another concern are what are called blind faults. Blind because seismologists are either unaware of them or don't realize their potential destructive I'm power. Stepping on my uh, fault line here. I, it seems, say it the it same seems our tectonic plates are bumping up against each other. We're bumping uglies here. If, and uh, if I read any, any research right, something bad is going to happen right now. <laughs> Some rumbling is going to happen. <laughs> Kiss me. Um, <laughs> Something's rumbling, all right. I read somewhere I didn't... My tongue. <laughs> I read somewhere that there was a huge network of faults and fractures in the Earth's crust under the LA Basin. And although they are smaller than the San Andreas Fault, their true destructive power lies in where they are located, directly underneath densely populated areas. One of these blind faults runs along the base of the San Gabriel Mountains above San Fernando Valley. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we here go. Here we go. The area has many faults, but the one that we're going to be talking about yeah. is called the Sierra yeah. Madre Fault. Not wrong about that part of town having a lot of faults. <laughs> Certainly a lot of faults in that part of town. Could find a lot of faults in the valley. Um, uh, what? <laughs> nine miles below the surface. A creature was awake. <laughs> His name, the Sierra Madre Fault. Sierra Padre. Sierra Padre. Sierra Ma Madre Fault, nine miles below the surface, is the one we're going to be talking about right now. Okay. Geologists might have known that the area had faults, but they didn't think that they were active. They would find out it was active on February 9th. 1971 a tuesday a weekday mm -hmm. some people were awake when it hit some people were asleep but for sure just before 6 1 a.m everyone woke up when an earthquake was set off north of silmar i'm seeing a uh, i was gonna say there's a pattern of like earthquakes happen at around six o'clock <laughs> that's the probably, earthquake witching hour probably <laughs> it, the twitching hour <laughs> it measures at a 6.6 .6 on the richter scale mm -hmm. around the same shake as the 33 quake and it lasts for 12 seconds do you want to count that yeah, let's count th okay hang on let me let me get a full circuit going and what two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's confusing because there's another clock yeah. going on so it's yeah it's like a Thelonious Monk song one of you guys is off but it's good <laughs> that's what makes it so good that's what that I can't play <laughs> neither can he in that 12 seconds was a 1971 Silmar earthquake in that 12 seconds according to daily news article by Dana Bartholomew bridges fell freeways buckled and collapsed sewer lines snapped power lines came down gas lines exploded chimneys toppled over walls crumpled windows <laughs> shattered and people died in houses at work on the road in hospitals all of you the hospital in somar uh -huh. it had a new like six-story facility literally like a, the whole facility by the way was a month old january 9th was when they were like it's ready during the <laughs> quake it shifted a foot off its foundation and the first floor collapsed and killed three people <laughs> a thousand patients were thankfully evacuated safely if it had been during staff hours which was at 8 a.m it would have killed so many more people mm -hmm. Phone lines, electricity, elevators were all out at the hospital. Three other hospitals in the area suffered considerable damage. We'll get to one of them. As did an electrical switching station, a converter station, the San Fernando Juvenile Facility, and a glass factory in Newhall, which is like the glass factory during an earthquake is pretty funny. They had like <laughs> millions of dollars of damage. It's almost as funny as being in a jello factory. <laughs> How was the jello factory? Can we check Hired? in on the jello factory? <laughs> Guys? Whoa! <laughs> Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> a line of Los Angeles County ambulances were crushed by a parking overhang. Schools collapsed, although I couldn't find too much info on that. The overpass of the 5 and the 210 in Silmar was destroyed when a bridge fell on it and killed two people. If it was rush hour, so many more people would have been dead on the freeway. On the Newhall Pass interchange of the 5 and the 14, that collapsed for the first time. And not the last. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about reading about earthquakes, especially in like newspapers that are like looking back on it, is that you'll hear so many stories of s people who lived through it and everyone's seems to have the same sort of like it was shaking and i thought i was gonna die and it was loud and it ended but like i'm just i want a list of all the places that were like this fell down but like they don't have that but it'll like it's uh, some every paper will sum it up like schools collapse so like i couldn't find what schools in the valley collapsed schools collapsed oh what now you acknowledge that there are schools in the valley so what you pick and choose when you're sympathetic S to the valley school of hard knocks what? <laughs> What'd you say about my nuts? What, what the hell did you say about these nuts? These nuts? Oh, there's a mosquito in here. Mm, must be a spy from My Favorite Murder. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it's making so much money. <laughs> oh, no. It was insured. Oh, no. They're going to pay even, they're gonna pay even uh, more. Oh, no. It got picked up by another network. <laughs> they're going to do a murder of the moth, and it's going to be the it's greatest a episode. A murder, yeah, it's a mosquito from the moth podcast. <laughs> the irony. Of the damages and losses, two things should be singled out. First, this one had no casualties, but it's like terrifying to think about. Wait, this one had no, oh, no the casualties. Situation? The situation okay. had no casualties. The Van Norman Dam. Yeah, I, I, w I was going to mention this Do you this know where also. this is at? Yeah, it's the, the one that they put all the 
little balls in to create shade. Okay. That is in the Granada Hills Mission Hill yep. area near where you grew it's up. It's right above, like, with the Odyssey. Oh, okay. It's up. Oh, I got lost up there one time. Off oh, Above <laughs> Rinaldi, right? Real close. Real close to us Kicking right now. the dam. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just to the left of uh, whatever five or whatever that yeah. is that goes up there. The dam <laughs> consists of two areas, the upper and lower, lower reservoirs. Lower. Together, they hold 3.6 billion gallons of drinking water, which is about 80% of the LA water supply. There it is. Take it. Part yeah, that's where it all goes. Yeah. That's the, there it is. Take it water. Yeah, the water goes. slide leads. Yeah. Part of the rim of the lower reservoir was concrete, but some of it was earthen dam, which seems to be like compacted dirt, sand, and clay, like an, like an earthy embankment or a barrier. The earthquake hits and the embankment loosens up and begins to give. 30 feet worth of barrier had broken off and all that was left was about six feet before the surface of the water. A strong aftershock could have given the water just enough push to topple it and once the weight of the water would have hit the remaining wall it would have buckled the mm -hmm. water i remind you 3.6 billion gallons became dangerously close to toppling the rim of the dam but luckily even with aftershocks it didn't happen no water gushed past whatever barrier was left but like 80,000 residents within a 2 by 12 mile radius like a rectangle radius were evacuated they had to leave their homes for four days after the earthquake so the water levels had to be like lowered using pumps a ucla study on that found that if the dam collapsed it would have killed between 71,000 and 100 23,000 people. I, I read that it was 15,000. Oh, really? I don't know. We want to try mean, it right now? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go kick it open. <laughs> let's but, uh, see how many people But what, what I read also was that they had just lowered the water level like two months before. Yeah. And if they hadn't, that would have been it. Yeah, that would have been it. Like yeah. the, the, the weight of the water would have kill all of yep. those people there goes the valley luckily they lower the you water would love that wouldn't you you would love it say it say it i own a boat i'd be fine it didn't happen <laughs> i live on a boat in the middle of van eyes <laughs> like cliff booth we it didn't happen though no lives were lost but it was it scared a lot of people including me reading it the other location though is pretty heartbreaking. The San Fernando Veterans Administration Hospital, the VA hospital near Plummer and Haskell, was built in 1926, mm -hmm. long before the field at codes were implemented. The structure consisted of a lot of concrete with tile walls. After the earthquake, the VA hospital was a pile of rubble with slanted frames. The whole thing? Pretty much. I think, like, a big portion of it The one that's, collapsed. like, up on the hill above I Nordoff think so. Or? I was trying to get a better idea of where it was. I mean, that's the VA. Yeah, it must be that in Silmar. A lot in of, like, Silmar? Are, wait, are you talking about the one in Silmar or in North Hills? Oh, Plummer and Haskell. I guess it's North Hills. You're right. Yeah. I guess we proved who really lives in the valley. <laughs> People who live under dams. I live near a lake, which I used to be a reservoir. I live near a reservoir <laughs> with no protection. <laughs> so the VA hospital came down. Four to four people died there. In total, the earthquake would injure 2,500 people, cost more than $550 million in damages, and claim the lives of 64 people, nine of which were due to heart attacks. Later, scientists would find the epicenter of the quake. They would find it and discover that at the area, Arrested. put a bullet in it so it never happens again. <laughs> so they go to the area where the quake happened the epicenter it had raised off the ground five feet like the plate had lifted and they found that the san gabriel mountains rose two to three feet tariff tariff yeah. mountains were built because of this immediately after the quake though it was rescue time one of the benefits of the valley being hit in 1971 was there was adequate emergency rescue departments the fire department ambulances police there were there were enough departments there like a lot of people complained that there was a slow time but like there were enough to help everybody it wasn't like you were waiting for days also very fortunate was that the quake hit at 6 a.m so people were in their homes and because the valley was was relatively new the houses were built with reinforced structures to deal with a big shake already some homes cracked and windows shattered but very few houses crumbled if it happened two hours or even an hour later the quake would have been devastating because everyone would have been out at work like they would have been in these buildings that weren't retrofitted the same as houses so they probably would have come down hundreds if not thousands of people flocked to any emergency room they could find many going to any all what? of any emergency room that oh. they could find many going to olive view which had its second floor conveniently now located <laughs> on the first floor not funny so people were going to olive view with injuries and all of you was trying to evacuate. They had managed to set up temporary facilities in an unused building at the site and then gave people first aid. Other people went to other hospital sites that hadn't fallen apart or they went to like church emergency setups that had first aid. Valley residents had to endure weeks without water, gas, and power as the Salvation Army rolled out trucks of hot food. But life returned to normal after that for those people who could walk away with their lives. The quake scared the S word out of a lot of people. It was incredibly strong, but the fault was pretty much ignored or missed altogether, which was the most alarming thing, that there was a fault here and we had no idea that these series of faults could just be like activated mm -hmm. but from it a new set of safety standards emerged from four hospitals dams freeways and land use planning across california in 1973 the state passed the alquist hospital seismic safety act which reinforced safety building codes to make sure that they could withstand a moderate quake at the time this was the third worst earthquake in terms of casualties in california history in front of that was the 33 earthquake and heading the list was the big one the 1906 yeah. san francisco earthquake which i keep being surprised when i read the death count was 3,000 people but it was that was most well 
I'll get into it. Yeah, yeah you, it was the worst earthquake to hit the valley since the New Hall quake of 1893, which I didn't do too much research on. There was a lot of trouble after the quake between residents and different city and state departments. A lot of people complained about response time between Sheriff Peter Pitches and the city. The sheriff wanted to call the National Guard to assist in areas that were hit hard. Then they found out that the sheriff was not getting the National Guard to do simple things like supply drinking water to people who had none. There was a lot of problems with like realtors and emergency funds and low income loans and small business associations. This went on for years. Reading stories in different newspapers, it seemed like the quake was terrifying and the aftermath was long and frustrating. But were lessons learned? Let's find <laughs> out course. in 30 years. Uh, 30 years? 71 to... Oh, that's right. Two years. 20, 20 years. Two years. No. Two, it was two years. Oh, what a fool I was. It's, it's two, two years, years away. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, you haven't aged at all. It's 1991. And you're as smoking hot as ever. 